You might have noticed if you use Resolve 15 and 16 that uh, if you want to have, you have some text, say in a text node, and if you want to change individual characters or groups of characters within it, there's a function within uh, style text here. You right click and go to character level styling. And then you're able to highlight individual or groups of characters and come up to modifiers and make any changes under these tabs and change those individual characters. So here I change the 16 up to larger. And I come back to tools and then I can adjust the main text here. Make that one a little bit larger and go back to the modifiers and change the size of the text. But you might have noticed that if you try to do that with a text 3D node, uh, it's really not possible by default because you can't select the individual characters while you're in a 3D merge or you're messing with the 3D text. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you could use the uh, leverage the text and it's character level styling, the regular text node, and use that in a 3D text node. So, we'll get started here, we'll leave this over here, we're gonna use that later. So start off by adding a 3D text node, and a 3D merge, and I'll connect that up to that. We're gonna add a camera, connect that to the merge. Then we're also gonna come up to tools, make sure the effects library is uh, selected here. I go to 3D, go to light. I'm going to take an ambient light. I'm going to connect that to the 3D merge. And then we kind of set up the basics here. So we'll put this 3D merge in both viewer 1 and 2 by hitting the 1 and 2 key. And then we can change the second viewer here to the camera's view by right clicking where it says perspective and clicking camera 3D1. So now we're seeing what this camera is seeing. So we go to the text, and just for setting up kind of the placement of the text, we'll type in something here. So we'll do resolve 16. And then we can zoom out with the mouse wheel by scrolling down. And then I'll come back to the camera. I'm going to drag this back so we can actually see the words here. And then I'll also kind of spin this to the side and take the camera and move it up so it's a little you can see the text a little further down. And I'll go back to the text 3D node here, scroll down to the bottom, and come to the extrusion section here. Drop that down, and extrude it up to about point 0.08 or so. We can zoom in and see how it looks. So that's now making it look blocky in 3D. And to see the effects of the lighting, uh, whenever you're in the 3D views here, you come into the, you know, these Merge 3Ds, right click, and come down where it says 3D options, and you want to make sure you have lighting selected. And I'm also going to do shadows. And come over to this second viewer and do the same thing. 3D options, lighting, and then shadows. And then we can come back to the angle light and just turn up the intensity a little bit so it's a little bit brighter. There we go. Yeah, a little bit brighter. Then click on merge, and then we'll add in the renderer 3D. So this way we'll be able to connect it to our 2D out, uh, output here from the media in. And we'll be able to see it in our final media out in our final footage. And when you're, once you're in renderer 3D, you also want to make sure you have lighting and shadows selected or you won't see any of the results in your renderer. So I can switch this viewer now, second viewer instead of the camera, switch to the renderer. Now we can make it a little better here, change the text color, something a little brighter, a little easier to see. So there we go. So now for the trick, we've already set up the modifier here for character level styling of the text. So if we come over to the text 3D, right click on its style text box, instead of choosing character level styling, which actually won't work in the 3D node, you come to connect to and character level styling and style text and then that chooses the and uses the style text from the text node and then from there you can ignore the text node and just come to the modifiers under the 3D text and now you could change the sizes and everything so here you could scale it up and bring it up to like 1.5 
And now you can see that the text is bigger. They kind of experiment with the different sizes to get the ratios. It doesn't come over looking exactly like it did from the text node, but you can adjust it any way you need. And then once you have that set up, now I can come back here and go to the camera, zoom out here a little bit, and to see the 3D or the uh, thickness of the 3D letters a little better, you can move the camera kind of to the side and maybe slightly up and then come over to the rotate and then rotate it back into view. And that'll get a little more of a 3D effect. Kind of get that centered here. So then now you can connect the renderer to the output of your media in. That'll create a merge. And if we put media out in the second viewer, and you can see it now will merge with your footage. And if you come over to edit, you can see it in your footage here. Now it's not tracked, so it'll just stay still as the background moves, but you could do that separately if you wanted to. And then if you want to change the size of either one of these, if you want to change the main letters here, go back into Fusion, go to your Text 3D, and make sure you're under the Tools menu, and then you could change the size of that. But that will leave the, the part you use the character level styling on alone. And if you want to change that, come back to Modifiers, and then change the size here. And that will change the size of the text you selected there. So that's just a quick look at how you could use character level styling uh, with a text 3D node. And I hope you found it useful, and I thank you for watching.